Speaking of mistrial. Speaking of mistrial. Come on. I see you segue, Kate. The YSL. I see you. Know what I mean? The district attorney in the YSL case. So Yo, he killed you. Flip is hilarious. He was um, the ex defense lawyer. So, ain't that a conflict of interest? Yeah, she was, yes. It's a conflict yes. of interest. So, they're saying that maybe they're accusing her of using information that he gave that, her. That she gathered yeah. during that mm -hmm. to now pursue, which is against the law. And he it was is. also saying, like, like the gentleman that um, she previously represented um, is one of the co founders of YSI. I forget the gentleman's name. But he was saying he was having personal, like, he was like, this was like auntie nephew conversations, conversations we were mm -hmm. having. And he was like, and now I, he, 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 she got his sentence reduced. He did his time. He came out. And he's like, now you, now you, you indicting us, like the whole crew. And he was like, this ain't the person that I've known. He said he believes it's political. It's, it's coming from somewhere else, yeah. the, the pressure on her. But now they looking... Now this is just his, uh, his assessment. Yeah, I'm saying this should it's be enough. a mistrial. It's enough because of what I might have gave her an attorney-client privilege might now also be used to indict me and my my co mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That should be enough. It don't have to be because my man, um, he doing life, and he was a his his judge was a part of the prosecution team when they was gathering the information to, to indict him. Mm. He wasn't a judge yet. He was a, a, an attorney working <clears throat> on the case. And then he became a judge and they tried to get him kicked off and it didn't work. So it ain't no guarantee that it's going to work, but this YSL case got enough media attention that it should. A few things. Really briefly, I want to let <laughs> <laughs> Stop, yo. This is a serious topic. <laughs> So I'm trying to be serious, but just a, just a few things I want to throw in here. C-SPAN and shit. The, the blogs the other day. Yo, I have so much fun staying home just reading shit. The blogs the other day put up a picture of Young Thug with his head down in court, and they said, Young Thug appears to be sad. Looks defeated. Yeah. Looks defeated. I just read it 20 times. Like, how do they think he's supposed to feel <laughs> right now? Is he supposed to be in there jubilee, what? just just kicking back? Yeah, doing jumping jacks, chilling. high fiving. How should he look in there? And for that same clip or whatever, or video, picture, whatever it was that went out, <clears throat> they were saying, "Yo, he's been sitting there for eight hours. Like this, this, this is an eight-hour day thing. And at that particular moment, there was nothing going on." It's like a break. I'm gonna put my head down, and take a fucking nap. Man, yeah, I'm and like, I don't know what his night was like before that. He, I don't. He might have bum really, ass food. Yeah, like, he yeah, might have yeah, really like just been exhausted, having mm. nothing to do with how he feels about his chances in the case. Number one. Now, number two, I went home and rethought some more about that whole Percocet handoff. And I know if it was me, and my man came and uh, one of my codies came and gave me a Percocet. I feel like whether I knew that was a Percocet or not, them niggas was sending me to the, I was going down. But he didn't. No charge. He didn't know what it was. He just, his lawyer got that right out of there. And while everybody was happy about that, under more examination, that would be a little scary to me. Nah, what I heard though, they said that, um. They got you, they got your man putting the perk in your hand and they was like, I heard that. He didn't mean that. I heard that ain't his man. Don't worry about it. I heard that's not his man. So what they said was, and I don't know how true it is. Again, this is all speculation. Yeah, but it's your sources say this. No, the nigga. Stop. Let me make a narrative. Cys. When we say I heard, we got sources. I've read that they said that that dude is doing life allegedly. That's not his code. That's not his man. They said that person is doing life. And supposedly, somebody that's doing life shouldn't even have been able to come up and give him that shit. They saying that the nigga was instructed to do that, so now you swaying the opinion of him through the juror's eyes. That you dumb enough to take a perk right there sitting at the table. I can see that. Yeah, it's so possible. I can see that too. You know what I mean? And like, now they're saying that uh, a lot of the jurors that had, you know, reasons to not be jurors... Uh, they're bringing in 300 new jurors to pick from. So this trial ain't happening to the summer. Mm. How could you really pick somebody in Atlanta that never heard of this case? 
I don't think that Matt the, the Meg Tory trial showed me that that don't matter because there was no way that that jury didn't read a newspaper, mm-hmm. a, a blog, mm-hmm. turn a TV on, be unfamiliar yeah. with them. Like that just wasn't true to me. That's true. You're right. New Joe Biden.